Well, that was a funny thing. There I was, minding my own business, cutting the grass, and all of a sudden, a damsel in distress came shrieking like a banshee she were, proper scared. And she says to me, there's a dragon. And I said, don't be daft, woman. No such thing as dragons. And she said, yeah, there is. Look, over there, she said. I said, well, I can't see a dragon. And she pointed. And oh, lordy, there was a dragon, all breathing fire and eating sheep and young women and things. And she says to me, oh, brave sir, she said. I said, you got the wrong, la wrong man, lady. I ain't a brave sir. <laughs> I'm just a gardener. No, she said, I need a brave knight who can go and kill that dragon and save all of the people in the village. Well, I thought, it is Thursday. I have had me lunch. So, you know, We'll see what we can do, won't we? Well, I thought, you want me to go hunting dragons? Big, fiery, fearsome, nasty dragons. I'm not doing that unless I'm properly equipped. And I read a bit about this sort of thing, and you have to wear armour. And I sort of searched around a bit, and underneath the bed... I found a receptacle and I tipped it out and I put it on me bonnet. I thought now, if I'm going to kill dragons, I need a spear or a lance or something. And as luck has it, ha ha. <laughs> We're equipped, you see. I'd better knock the dirt off. I wouldn't want the dragon dying of blood poisoning. That, that wouldn't be good, would it? Um, yeah, there we are. That's better. And I said to the young damsel, I said, you rest there, love, and I'll go and kill the dragon. And off I went. Well, after I killed the dragon, I thought that was a bit a bit daft, and I should really have done it on the back of a horse, but you know me and horses, they're a bit too big for me to get on, so I didn't bother with getting the horse. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's the story of how I killed the dragon and saved the village, or something like that. <laughs>